Yo, what is up guys? Today we're checking out a game I've been wanting to play for a while. I just forgot about. This is Crackdown 3. When I played the original Crackdown in 2007, I was in love with leveling up my character for the simple fact that it would make me be able to jump higher. The whole idea of just leveling up a superhuman was so cool. There wasn't many games doing that way back in 2007. Eventually, I was able to climb pretty much any skyscraper in the city, and it was my first real experience with, like, ultimate third-person platforming. Like, you could climb anything. It was sick. And then Crackdown 2 came out in 2010, and I was able to do more of the same. It just wasn't quite as ex uh, explosive as that first experience because I had played it before and I knew what to expect this time around, but it was still fun, and I loved it. I have so many good memories with these games. And I think it's beyond past time for me to finally play the third game in the series. Crackdown 3 is an open world action adventure game developed by Sumo Digital and published by Xbox Game Studios. Yes, this is the main reason I never did play Crackdown 3. Because I haven't had an Xbox in over 10 years until recently when I got a Series S. Now I can finally play this game. Um, so Crackdown 3 was released in 2019. The game is set in a futuristic city overrun by crime syndicates and chaos. Players take on a role of a superpowered human known as an agent, tasked with restoring order to the city by taking down criminal factions and their leaders. The game combines elements of third-person shooting, platforming, and exploration, offering a sandbox-style experience where players are free to roam the city and tackle objectives in any order that they choose. And that is no exaggeration. Like you can go anywhere on the map right from the start, um, and just like. Do whatever you want to do, and the, you're gonna to want to like complete each district to unlock everything in it, and like really get what you can out of it. So I find myself just going to a part of the map, doing everything on it, and going to another part of the map. Like it's so fun. And speaking of characters and going to different parts of the map, as you see my character right now, I don't know if you saw at the beginning, you saw his face. I'm not just some random black guy. I'm Terry Crews. They got Terry Crews for this game. Now, you don't have to be him. You could be several different agents, and you unlock more as you play. But Terry Crews is one of the first options. And, of course, I went with him because he's hilarious. He, he was like a, the, the movie I remember him in the most was probably White Chicks with the Wayans Brothers and him being on drugs on accident and, like, loving those white chicks that were actually dudes. Like, it was just so funny. I love Terry Crews. He's hilarious despite all the drama he's got in his life. But uh, having him in Crackdown 3 was not something I expected. I remember it happening back in 2019, but I, like I said, I kind of forgot about this game. It's been out for almost five years now. Anyways, Center of Crackdown 3's multi... Oh, sorry. There's no multiplayer anymore. There is, but it's not really worth playing. Single player is where it's at. Anyways, Central to Crackdown 3's gameplay is the empowering feeling of being a superhuman agent with enhanced strength, agility, firepower, and all sorts of cool weapons. I mean, you can lift up cars and throw them at people. You can jump extremely high, and you've got, like, a booster jump on your back that, like, gives you extra air. It's, it's sick. Uh, and you can leap across buildings, scale skyscrapers, and unleash devastating attacks on enemies with a wide array of, like, abilities. And like I said, the weapons are on point with this game. The game's progression system rewards players for completing objectives and collecting orbs scattered throughout the city which enhance their agent's abilities and allows you to unlock new skills. Whether you're wrecking havoc on enemies or exploring the city's tower and skyline, Crackdown 3 offers a thrilling and action-packed experience for fans of open-world games. You are going to be getting a lot of reason to go check out areas you normally might not because these orbs are everywhere, and you want to get all the orbs. Trust me on that. Um, despite mixed reviews upon release, Crackdown 3 should actually be praised for his fast-paced gameplay and chaotic action. The game's destructible environments add an extra layer of excitement to combat encounters, allowing players to unleash mayhem on their surroundings and watch buildings crumble in real time. It's not going to be quite on the level of the old Battlefield games where entire buildings are falling, but you can destroy quite a bit of stuff, and a lot of stuff is at your disposal to throw at enemies or do whatever you want with. Additionally, the game features a cooperative multiplayer mode, where players can team up with friends to tackle missions and wreak havoc across the city. It's just more fun by yourself, if I'm being honest. Uh, with its blend of explosive action, superhero empowerment, and sandbox freedom, Crackdown 3 delivers a fun and exhilarating gaming experience for those seeking high-octane thrills in an open-world setting. Now, out of all the 
random games I've been playing on Game Pass recently, this is one of my favorite ones so far. Like, I don't know if it's just the memories I have with the old games or just the simple fact that, like, I feel like I'm constantly getting better at the game, like, every five minutes or something. Like, the more you do a certain type of thing, like, say the more you drive a vehicle and you go and do tricks with it or jump and, and get certain, like, uh, orbs with it, you will level up the vehicle ability and start unlocking more unique things you can do with vehicles. You'll be able to operate armored vehicles. You'll be able to do a bunch of different stuff that you weren't able to do before. If you see on the left there, those are all my levels. Well, it, it went away just now, but it's got the, the guy running. That's like your agility. Then you got the weapons. You got all these different things you can level up. And depending on how you play, your abilities will level up quicker in certain areas. Like me, my agility is just above everything else because I just love jumping and exploring in this game. It is just so fun. It's what I remember most about the old game is just being able to jump really high and go places that you shouldn't be able to go in other games. Now, I'm not quite sure if it's going to be, get to the point where you can jump quite as high as the old games because I'm after this video, I got up to like almost level four with a jump already. And I can jump pretty high, but it's not as high as I remember. And you also have this like jetpack thing for like a, I don't know, like an extra jump on you. After you say you've already hit the air or you can double jump to have a quicker first jump. Uh, that's there. But you're also going to be unlocking like a double dash in the air. Uh, all sorts of stuff. So like, I'd say the like the movement is still there. I just don't know if it's going to hit quite as good as it did with the original Crackdown when I played it. It's it's fun as shit so far. I can, I can definitely say that. Like I am shocked that I forgot about this game. And I was so happy when I saw it on Game Pass. And now that I'm playing it, like this is a good time. I think it's well worth checking out if you haven't already played it. If you never played those original Crackdown games like I did, like you missed out on something special. These games are awesome. Um, and then the gunplay is just sick too. There's so many cool weapons. I seem to like the beam weapons the best so far, as you see me picking up one right there. It's just so powerful. Um, but if you enjoyed watching this video, leave a like below. Comment, tell me what your favorite Crackdown memory is. Like, I, I played a lot of this franchise, but this Crackdown 3 is just bringing back a lot of good memories for me. Um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe because I have videos like this coming out all the time. And uh, I appreciate you watching this one. I'll catch you on another one soon. Peace out. Looks like you've got a locked supply point in your area. Claim it.